We've talked about pricing going up and up and up and up and is it even anything new? Not so much, but just every time you look at it and you just think back of just maybe even a year ago, even a year ago, things seem way more reasonable. Welcome back everyone. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Amy and as per usual, I always give my opinion of any new Chanel collection. Never judge a book by the cover. First of all, Chanel never ever posts everything that they offer online. That is what they do, they, they just don't. And second of all, once you see a certain collection in person, you actually can spot different things that you never thought that you would like. Although I'm not able to show you exactly what they will have in store since it hasn't even launched here yet in Canada, I will still comment on the collection itself. And like I said, never judge a book by the cover because even though it might look boring online, we'll still try our best to pick and choose. Let's begin with the bags and then we'll move on to the shoes and accessories and then last, ready to wear. Another version of a denim bag, which at first I was very interested, but I was reserved because I wanted to see how the print looks like in person, especially judging from a picture, it's sometimes really hard to um, really see if the print looks good on. I will say that between the black and the blue denim, the blue denim seems like the print on it is more cohesive, like it looks more like it's meant to be together and that it even looks better quality on the blue denim. That is just based on my first impression of looking at the print itself on the two different tones of fabric. I do like that on this denim bag, they have this little Chanel hardware where it holds the chain. Now, I do believe based on these pictures that this whole bag has no leather whatsoever. It is 100% fabric and metal because even on the strap, it looks like it's just the denim fabric. So in essence, you are really paying for a fully fabric bag because the interior is also fabric. Now they don't indicate the size here. It says small flat bag. So I'm assuming that it's just maybe slightly bigger than a mini size uh, classic flap. So, and also based on the picture of the model wearing it, um, it does seem like it's slightly wider and slightly taller. And it does seem like it would have quite a long shoulder strap, even though you can double it. I like that metal part that holds this strap. You can really double it up easily. Um, but this model, I'm sure she's very tall. So I would think that this chain is quite long. I do like the black a lot, but for some reason, when I look at the black fabric and the print on it, it just seems cheaper. I don't know what it is that the print looks cheaper on the black denim versus the blue denim. I could be wrong once I see it in person, but just based on my initial like closer up impression of the fabric online, I just feel like the blue is nicer, but that's just me. Uh, between the two sizes, the large and the small, the price difference is not that huge. And so, um, you know, if you're after a larger size bag and you don't mind that it's full fabric, then I think that it's a cute piece to collect. It's definitely more of a trendier collector's piece. My personal view of this is that it's okay. I don't dislike it, but I wouldn't buy it myself. I personally don't love it when there are, I don't know what it is. Maybe the chain is too thick in a way that is wide it does, it's sort of like I'm unsure about it. If I think it looks cool, it's more rock and roll, but it also looks kind of short, so it feels like it's more of a shoulder mini bag, which is kind of interesting. And obviously at these price range, you have to love, like really feel the love and not because of FOMO. <laughs> you have to really feel the love to get these pieces. So um, go for it if it's your vibe but it's not mine. Boy bag reissue, I will just skip those. The colors are pretty though. This is another style that is um, a new seasonal style. Uh, 
mini size flat bag it looks like it would be leather lined as well in lambskin and the um i guess the, the the seasonal aspect of it is the chain there's the little chain uh there's the little metal part holding the chain and a little bit of lacquer detail even on the cc lock again it's interesting is it that innovative or does it really captivate me not really but you know the heart wants what it wants so if it's your cup of tea then go for it um, i personally don't love a ton of long chain i don't mind a bit of chain so going back to the chanel 19 comparison i don't mind the little bit of top handle chain it's tasteful the rest of the bag i like that it has intertwined leather chain because that alone helps with noise um canceling the noise of the chain that's what i mean so with this one because it has a longer full chain i feel like it would be quite noisy as a bag so keep that in mind now we're getting into something that i would seriously consider which is the mini flat bag with top handle this is a style that i would personally consider and um especially if i have a need for this style in my in my bag collection uh, would i go for this particular seasonal you know colorful rainbow-ish watercolor um color N not really it's not my cup of tea on the more reasonable spectrum price wise but it's a it's a classic timeless style to get and they are coming out with several colors this season they have this really gorgeous pale blue they have a red which looks much better on um these pictures online rather than the leaks that were coming out um all over you know the online world of purse forum or red or instagram um otherwise this pink is lovely too the only thing is i just don't uh I just refrain from buying these colors i think the red is lovely if look i'll be very honest i really do wish that i bought these when they first came out in the caviar because i would have bought a light color i would have bought the white one but just because they are lambskin i am really 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 having second thoughts but i do like that style um wow this is a fabric bag no 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 i'll just <laughs> leave it at that um yeah i mean the rest are just more of a twist of how the classic looks like but just making it a bit seasonal with different chain details and whatnot uh, yeah it's okay oh actually this bag is in green calfskin which i couldn't tell from the picture but from the description that's what it says so it's it's quite cute in my opinion so yeah actually this one i don't mind it it's really cute i i somehow like that this shape is a cute sort of it's a square rectangle and i like the color i even like that the the flaps the flat part is a bit rounded even the edge of the bag is a bit rounded love the wider back pocket actually this one is very cute very cute i i would say this is in my books a good seasonal bag to get it's quite it's quite classic in a way that doesn't look weird doesn't look like it would get dated very very easily i like this one a lot and the quilts are also a bit more oversized um mini flat bag in tweed i mean as long as you like the fabric my rule of thumb is that unless the tweed is so irresistible then i would still avoid tweed bags because at the end of the day they are fabric made and leather is always going to be a bit more robust long lasting and um, easier to care for even if they are lambskin i would say uh, fabric bags are always going to be a bit harder now uh, this 19 should i even click on it i mean i'm not even attracted to it one bit i don't like how they are doing the watercolor on the seams part i mean it can be interesting i'm sure there is always going to be someone who who likes their interpretation um but 
just not my cup of tea. This is a cute color. And honestly, if you don't mind fabric, a little bit of tweed, it's still a classic shape and you still get a bit of leather lining uh, and the leather chain. I feel like this is a better buy than the denim price wise. I, I personally think so, especially this is more of a classic timeless shape. Um, they are called, you know, the the classic minis after all in the community. So I would think that this is a better buy if you're looking to buy a fabric bag and as long as money is no object and all that and you have room in your collection, then go for it. Yeah, I love the 19, but I'm not going to go so crazy about all the, you know, iridescent, calfskin, whatnot. I, I'm just not crazy about all the different iteration. I think the loveliest 19 is either the black or the caramel or the beige. Um, I even like it in white or gray, but that's it. I, I, I wouldn't venture out too, too, too much unless you buy it in your favorite color. Oh yes, the classic flap. They are getting expensive, huh? This one is, yeah, this one is a medium size. They're getting very expensive. Very pretty color, um, but definitely more dressy because of the metallic color. I'm gonna skip over these things. What is this? Oh, the cocoa handle with a special um, seasonal handle. And it's in a smooth calf skin. The handle part is very pretty, but you are paying for it uh, in terms of pricing. Boy Chanel with top handle. Wow, they do know how to make a comeback with with a style of bag that is slightly dying like it, it they're so popular but just you know the the trend of the boy bag is definitely slight going down a bit um but they do know how to make it come back with that top handle feature again i feel like any bags that have top handle and chain combination is just way more versatile and practical from a standpoint of using so i like that I like that very much. I don't like the price, but if you love the boy bag and you like the new added top handle feature, I think that's for you. Uh, now that we're talking, see a plain color 19 is so lovely, even in pink, even though it's not a color that I would pick, I think it just looks nicer. I like that it has, it's just more simple. It's more timeless basically. And I love, I love that about it. Um, the reissues, oh, wow, they are getting more expensive now, yes, uh, but prices will never go down, right? It's only going to go up and it will always be too late if you keep waiting. So um, if it's something that you truly, truly your heart wants and you saved up enough, then it's time to get it. Obviously, only only buy when it's time to get it for you when you're ready. But yeah, I mean, it is a classic. If you love the style, you love the style. If it's your color, then get it. Shopping bags, they are coming out with a ton of those. I wonder why. Um, let's just take a look at this maxi shopping bag in denim. I think they are cool. A ton of chain on this. Um, so it's gonna make a bit of noise. Look, it's cool. It, it has a cool vibe. It definitely suits this style of bag with this print. So, I mean, the heart wants what it wants. If you want this, get it. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'm not that interested in the other ones. Nah, I don't like it. I don't really like the fabric, how they did it. And this one is just all leather. Yeah, that chain bit with the leather, nah. I, I'd rather they do the intertwined chain that I can accept. So no to the shopping bags. The hobos, they are, they're okay actually. Um, they, look, I, I'm just not a big bag person. So um, I would not, never really buy it. Again, also, I don't like that it's full chain. I just find it more cheap when it's full chain. Uh, personal opinion, obviously. So. I prefer when they do an intertwined leather chain product um, like this one is it's actually 10 times better just the fact that it has leather interwoven in it um, I actually don't mind this thicker 
chain strap on the hobo because on a hobo it makes sense right hobos are meant to be closer to your body the bag is bigger so it has that big detail on your shoulder and i think it makes sense on the other one and the mini bag that we saw earlier i no i don't think so um yeah i got too many of these chain things dangling noisy no this little backpack is one of the more sort of hyped up item i'll tell you what i don't like about it i don't like the fact that it's so much chain number one and number two even though it's a feature that is more secure because of the zip around i actually don't like that because it makes getting in and out of my bag too fussy because I need three steps to get in my bag. First of all, you have to turn your bag around because usually you would wear a backpack on your back. So turn your back around, um, open the turn lock, that's step number two, and then unzip it. That's three steps just to get into your bag, um, which is why I wouldn't get it. Um, it's just too fussy of a style and Wow, the chains, too many chains, no. All these frilly things are just, you know, they're cute at the beginning, but they, they can look kind of old and just, it, it can look really old and just sort of un, unwanted after a while. So I would skip this. I would rather you get the flat bag. And this, do I like this? No, too many chains, no, I don't like it. Not even with the cute little uh lacquer detail i'm not against that i'm just i just don't like plain chains they do make too much noise and what is even what are even those things first of all don't like the fabric so forget about it no no <laughs> no 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 i would never see like these are the things that i would never really buy if you're a uh, fashion editor, if you're a fashion buyer, if you're a true fashion blogger that travels and goes to fashion show and fashion week, yeah, maybe it's it's okay for you. But for regular people that like fashion and that like to dress up, no, <laughs> that's basically everyone else, right? Like it just is not practical for them. They'll never reach for it. So for me, I would never reach for something like that. I will still buy novelty pieces such as little micro bags like this. Even this one is cute as a novelty piece if it's your cup of tea. But um, yeah, coming back to zip around, they're just not my favorite type of, favorite type of medium to get in and out of bags. So I would personally avoid another vanity case. But never judge the book by the cover. Go have a look at your local store because they might not have posted a certain cute seasonal bag that you may end up loving, which I um, found myself loving when I went to look at the cruise collection. I found myself loving more things than I thought in the cruise collection, even though I didn't end up doing a reaction video to that. Now, I wanted to just quickly, very quickly touch on costume jewelry. I will say that I am moving away from too many costume jewelry pieces even though i just added <laughs> quite a few in the past season like i said cruise 2022 was very interesting in terms of pieces that were not all online or maybe pieces that once you see in person they are actually really beautifully made uh and the price was actually okay they were reasonable depends on what you choose of course but i saw even like the micro bag there was one that was sort of like a thick really thick chain with iridescent leather uh, that was very cute actually well priced i bought all these heart earrings and i'm not saying that costume jewelry i'm never gonna buy them again but i am moving away from it a little bit more because i do want to replace part of my collection with fine jewelry I am very, very attracted to the Coco Crush line and I know fine jewelry is a whole other can of worm to open because every fashion house has their signature pieces and I am very, 
very in trouble. So that's why I am moving away a bit from the actual costume pieces because not only are they getting more expensive, but the styles are just okay in general, especially because half after owning a lot of the very timeless pieces myself, I feel like the newer pieces don't affect me as much until I saw the hearts, of course. But this season's heart, I'm just, you know, I'm just lukewarm towards them. There's just something about the simplicity that is maybe way too simple. So, I mean, they, they look cute, right? I mean, if you like a good hoop earring, they, they are cute. Like, none of these things are bad, but is it going to be so attractive to me that I feel compelled to buy? Not really. I mean, look at the price of these. They are getting expensive. Even these, which are just plain metal. The shape is cute, but it's so plain. Uh, at these prices, they are getting... Wow, they are getting very expensive. So I'm not even commenting on the actual style. I think these are pretty cute if you love a, a good sort of like ovo shape very timeless shape earrings even though they have a bit of that trendy leopard print on it but the prices on on the jewelry pieces now are very very expensive hence it even reflects it on the second hand market oh my goodness i mean i don't even like this but i'm just looking at it because of the price i just wanted to see what the prices are these are these are pretty cute i, th I think um these are acceptable um they are they can be timeless but i yeah you would have to like you know a darker pearl because usually pearls look the most attractive when they're white oh yeah i mean look at every every piece that i click on is in the 1000 and over price range which is getting very very ridiculous Obviously, when there's more intricate details, they will charge more, but it's not always the case. Wow, almost $2,000 for these. Okay, these, I have to admit, they are cute. So if you like the whole boy line or if you're just a bit more, you know, you're just attracted to the fact that it says boy on it because, you know, boy Chanel is is an iconic word in, in the vocabulary of Chanel. So I, I think those are quite cute. Um... Wow, these hoops. Basically a thousand over because again, add tax to this. It's very wow. Very pricey nowadays, which is one one of the reasons that I'm moving away from costume jewelry. Not only do I want to add more fine jewelry, these are quite cute. But I will say that the heart earrings that I bought are nicer. <laughs> I like my uh, my own heart earrings better. And plus, I just like it when it's, you know, a, a heart is so pure, it should be white, right? It should be white or even red if you want to make it trendy. So I'm not against a black heart. Of course, black has its own lust and appeal. But um, I still like mine more. The ones from previous season. Yeah, I mean, these are just so simple. They do sort of stand out quite a bit because you see the whole heart shape as a hoop sort of speak and, and uh, the big CC logo, but they are very simple at the end of the day. So if it's just, you know, if, if you love something, you just love something, then you should just get it when you love it. Um, I am not kidding, guys. Everything I click on that is just mediocre, like I'm not... <gasps> loving it so much but the prices are just the moment i see it it really deters me yeah i mean these are cute these are more of a timeless shape and it still has a bit of interesting detail the fact that they're asymmetrical um and nowadays with the prices anything that is under i want i want to say like under the thousand or even under the 900 mark is considered reasonable right they are getting very very pricey i mean the only things that i saw that were less were these ones which i don't even find that interesting i mean these are interesting if you like black and that's it there's just not that many and then that last pair 
So I'm sure they will have more in store. They, they'll have other ones that they haven't featured online. In terms of necklaces, I will just make fun of it a little bit because I already knew how much this costs just based on my research and just just because I was eyeing the one version from last year which is so much more well priced back then even the one that was crossbody the bag version I think that one was in the 3000s last year and now you're getting this flat pancake pendant necklace version for almost five actually it will be over five thousand with taxes so it is a ridiculous guys <laughs> this one is supposed to kind of look like a choker i think it's fun um but then again that one part where it's just chain makes it look a bit cheap i think it's a look though it's a look but it just feels a bit cheap it's not as substantial as i would like it to be um yeah, it's, it's just chain details, like it's so cheap feeling, like cheap looking, which I'm not, I, I, I'm just, I'm just at a loss of words when I see these prices. I mean, if this one, because I do like this one, it's quite cute, the longer pendant, I think, uh, with the larger charm, I think, based on the price anyway, um, I, I don't mind something like this, I would buy it if it was maybe, um, 800 that's where i sit where i sit in terms of price range this is a better version because it, it is more 3d and uh it has more interesting I, I like the chain detail on this one so uh but uh, yet again the prices uh why would you buy something so uh functionally useless right um this choker again so simple piece of leather you do get your chanel hardware on it but Wow, it's so simple that I'm like, give me some class, give me some intertwined chain, give me some pearls or whatever. Like, this is where I draw the line at. Wow, it's way too simple. Uh, I'm not some sort of celebrity. I don't need things like this. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? It's just a lot of law. Again, $1,000 for a plain metal chain necklace. That is just no that is just not even gonna look at the details of this it's just so so expensive oh my goodness this choker i don't know how you feel about it because to me yeah there are some pearls there are some charms but to me it looks like it's from a dollar store and I, I hate to say that because I'm sure it's better quality than dollar store. Obviously, you're paying over $2,000 for this, but it just doesn't, um, it just doesn't warrant that kind of prices. And I'm not saying that their designs are bad because you can make this. I, I feel like it's okay to release different pieces because there's always a market for everybody. Uh, I don't want to criticize the designs too, too much because just because they're not my cup of tea doesn't mean that they're not yours. But at the same time, I feel like this design is not justified by the price. Maybe if it was in the, I don't know, maybe because the amount of charms there are in here, I would maybe price it at closer to 15, 1600. But this is way over 2000 once you tag on tax on top which is up to 15 percent here in canada so yeah like this seems a bit more reasonable to me like i said earlier 800 dollars range it is pricey but that's how it is you know this seems a bit more uh yeah this one too it seems a bit more reasonable price wise so I wonder if that other charm is just much, much longer and bigger. But even then, I, I just draw the line at full metal, $800. Is that all that I want to pay? And I don't even know what this is. <laughs> it's just a, it's just weird. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is a, I guess this is sort of like a shorter, almost choker length, very big charm pendant. Um... Uh, too trendy for this price. No, it's too big of a size. So too trendy. 
yeah this is a choker the price is a bit more reasonable so it makes it more okay but is the design that interesting depends on how you style it right but is it on its own is it that interesting then i would say no yeah oh my gosh these necklaces are just so wild they um are not my cup of tea let's just say that now this one is cute see at least they give you a bit of effort here right there's an intertwined leather chain which is very signature chanel the charm is cute if you like the black heart um i would pay for this if i like this necklace i would think that it's it's okay this one is okay <laughs> no <laughs> i don't even want to look at it you see where i'm coming from right the, from the point of view of you know the price has to be reasonable for what it is and even if you don't like the design someone else can like it still so uh, we're not just going to say no it's ugly that's the end of it that's not how it works right fashion is interesting because we can all like different things so this is cute uh this is cute um, price is also a bit more reasonable than the other ones that we've saw but no not this one I mean this one is very stunning on its own um, and like I said if I was some sort of very huge blogger and I don't know if I would still buy this honestly but if I missed the boat on the last one mm, I do like it a lot I will say no i wouldn't buy it if i was gifted it or if i was lend these pieces to a fashion show then sure i'll gladly wear it and even um show it off but um to buy them myself i think i think i would have bought it from last year's release last year they did this whole line with the little uh, charm with the uh, you know the little bag charm metal bag charm 3d and it's has a functional flap you can open it put a couple of things in there uh, i would have bought the last version where the price was so much more reasonable i think the price from last year even the built version was just in the three thousand dollar range which is a lot of money i'm not saying that it's not because i mean we are talking luxury here right not denying that these things are expensive but to me there's still a fine line where it becomes not worth it and this is one of them it's cute but it's not worth the money in terms of brooches um there's a few that are cute this one is cute again if you like um the black heart shape this one can be interesting if you're a big leopard or animal print person um these ones are just whimsical especially if you like to add several brooches on on a jacket or even on a backpack or whatnot who on earth will buy a guitar like a acrylic guitar and microphone brooch for these prices i'm not sure unless you're maybe a big musician um yeah i mean this one looks like it's a smaller size which is you know if i were to buy a brooch and i want something more timeless i would go for something like this um but the uh, brooches can be expensive i i i have to admit even some of my brooches are very expensive when i bought them in fact um you know they i thought they were expensive but just compared to today's prices i think they were way more reasonable back then um all right and the other costume jewelry oh yeah these are like are they like feet jewelry yeah foot jewelry nah oh my gosh no the prices yeah okay see the this ring is actually quite interesting i like the design edgy more chunky look i have two rings on my hand uh, on my index today because I wanted uh, a hand a, a small ring to stop this um, Justin Clou ring from falling since my fingers got a bit smaller lately um, you know even this Kelly ring can still look quite edgy depending on your finger size of course so I I personally uh, just would save up way longer just to get the kelly ring instead of buying this right like i know this will give you instant gratification and it is costume it is fun it is way more edgy in a sense 
Um, and I, I do like the detail of this one, don't get me wrong. But from a point of view of rings and bracelets, I still prefer fine jewelry. But I will say, uh, in terms of their rings this season, there's a couple that are really cute. Like this one, I like it. Uh, I don't mind the full metal look on these ones because then again, it's it's just such a small piece. It's not like a necklace full of just chains, right? Um, I actually like, I actually quite like some of these rings. Um, I think for ring design, what is this? Harness. Okay, no thanks. Um, in terms of a ring design, I think they are interesting and somehow the price seem reasonable because maybe I don't buy rings, maybe that's why I don't buy rings, but I, I seem to remember that rings can be very expensive from Chanel. So I do think that these few ones that we just saw are okay. They are. So yeah, definitely moving away from costume jewelry myself. Um, very few interesting pieces that would that I would consider myself. Again, they might have more in store. But these denim prints on shoes can be interesting, actually. I don't mind them on shoes and on clothes as much as on their bags. On their bags, they... I don't know. I just feel like bags should have some leather and... When there's like no leather on them, even though I am very attracted to the style, the flap bag, and I was this close to saying to my essay that I actually would want you to keep an eye out for me. Um, I didn't because in the end, it's still a lot of money and it's not like I have no bags to use. So I kind of held myself back. But on shoes, I quite like them. Open shoes. I wouldn't describe this as open shoe, but um, these are cute. They look very timeless in, in style and the height is not so bad. Uh, seems a bit more walkable. In terms of sandals, I spotted these ones. I was like, wow, these are really cute. Something that I would really wear because it has a chunkier heel. Uh, the straps look comfortable and really well made. I love, again, I love when they do a good sort of um, embroidered or intertwined chain detail type of thing. And it just looks very timeless as a style. And I even like the bumpy leather on the heel part sorry, on the ball of the feet and the heel part, it just seems like they've thought about this shoe. They didn't just make them into a flat pancake. So it should be comfortable. I really, really like these. And these, I know they look cute, right? They look very photograph worthy and even the color is amazing. Um, but they are probably going to be hard to walk in just because you have this very small bit of leather holding the front of your feet. I feel like these shoes can fall off your feet at any time, but uh, they are cute. They're very photograph friendly. Very similar style to the one that I mentioned earlier. Look how puffy the, the whole, you know, the whole insole is. It just makes it look a bit more approachable and it just looks like it would be a bit more comf comfortable than just flat pancakes. Uh, again, I love the embroidered style of the leather and chain detail, and I love them. I love them. Yeah, I actually love this one too. Um, this one is more flat, very expensive for some reason. Is it because of the pearls? I don't know. Um, oh, the charms, the charms. The charms and the pearls make it very expensive. So I like them, but they are a bit too pricey. By the way, I'm a big fan of that dad sandals, but uh, will I get these? Do they look a bit too stiff? I feel like they do look a bit too stiff. These ones, however, have more of an ergonomic shape on the insole, so I think they will be more comfortable, but uh, it's too clunky in a way. The design looks too too Lego, like too juvenile in a way. So I'm not sure. I'm undecided because they can look very good if you're going to fashion week in those. But on a regular person with regular fashion, um, even though you could be very fashionable, but you know what I mean? Like on a regular person that doesn't need to be dressing so over the top, I'm not sure that I would buy them, but they're cute, I guess. They're interesting. They're quite interesting. Um, yeah, these are more flat. Like they look like pancake flat. Again, they might be better when you try them on, but I, I, I usually kind of refrain from these styles where they're only holding the very front bit of your 
of your feet and nothing else. Um, it doesn't have enough of an incline or curve to really hold your feet in. I quite like these actually. They are maybe not something that I would buy. They are, they look very chunky for some reason, but I'm sure they will look good on. Uh, there's a ton of charms in it, so it makes it very, a bit more over the top. I wouldn't say very, a bit more over the top. I will say they look great though. I love all the details on it, even the CC in the back of the heel all the charms, all the quilting details, and it looks like even the insole is quilted. So I wouldn't say no to these, but they are a bit, a bit, just a bit over the top for me. I'm actually a big, big fan of Chanel sneakers, and I like these a lot. They look very comfortable. Um, they just give me Jordan vibes in a, in a way, and especially these ones, they give me just the Jordan basketball shoe basketball shoes vibe and i like them a lot and i obviously like this color combo very sort of this is navy and white but it looks dark black and white from afar so i like i like a lot uh this one i'm less i'm less attracted to just because the shoe itself looks wider and i'm not attracted to wider shoes i like shoes that make me look i have narrow and long feet and so I'm not attracted to this one myself. Um, but in general, I will say that their sneakers are quite well made, having owned um, a couple pair at this, at this point. If there is any better time to buy wallets on chains, it's now because if you can't afford the bag yet and you don't want a micro bag, then you can still use a wallet on chain as your bag, right? If that makes sense. So let's just skip over these vanity cases because wow, they are, wow, ridiculously priced. So let's not even look at them. Um, this was one of the more interesting item that came out this season that was sort of very hyped up. I really like it. Again, I love my micro bag. Case in point, I have two of those with the top handle. And I think this is just a different shape that they're trying to you know, just be different every season. Uh, it seems like dimension wise, this one has more depth on the bottom and it even has a little mirror on the flap inside. So um, look, if you don't have a micro bag and you want something that is more substantial, not just like literally like a card holder that fits just cards, this one will fit a few more things such as your keys, your lip balm, your sanitizer, if you have a very small one and your cards, right? And it even has a mirror already, so you don't have to bring a mirror around. I think this is a good buy if you want a micro bag of a decent size and decent um, feature, right? It has the chain detail, it has the um, top handle detail and all. So I would pick that. Uh, I wouldn't, on the other hand, I wouldn't pick this even though, okay, I, I, I actually don't mind the configuration of this. It's actually, um, it's quite cool. It looks like it has quite a bit of depth. And if your phone is small enough, it will fit in this. So I'm not mad at that. I just, again, don't like so much chain. It just, it makes it look cheap. I don't like it. I, I just don't like just plain chains. I don't like that. Um, and I also stay away from the zipper tops now. I just learned my lesson. I don't do it anymore um so yeah i mean this is cute this is so cute but not at these prices just curious what are these okay so o cases and then you have these foldable totes you know my answer nope not even gonna look at them they are <laughs> really ridiculous. There's nothing novelty about them. It's a shopping bag. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, we're done with small leather goods. Um, what's in the other accessories? I think it's belts, right? Belts and silks. Yeah, headwear. Oh yeah, headwear. Totally forgot. So I am after some sort of headwear this season. Um, again, I will have to see how this print looks like in person. Should I get a bucket hat? Do you think, do you guys think that I need a bucket hat? Because 
I feel like bucket hats are more functional because they are so much easier to, to take with you and you can fold it and everything. But um, I feel like what's more cool is baseball caps. They look so much cooler except that they're not really foldable. And uh, I hate to lose a cap if I was just holding it, even though I'm more attracted to the caps. So let me know what's your thought on bucket hat versus getting the baseball cap. Again, I I think that the headband that I have is such a great novelty piece. Um, honestly, compared to this one, the one that I have is so much cuter. Yeah, I'm biased, but I'm just saying the truth. Uh, the one that I have is so much cuter. And um, yeah, what are these things? Oh, okay. I think, do you add them to elastics or something? They're very, very pricey, these charms here. Interesting. Again, I'm moving away from any more hair accessories. This belt I like. Very simple if you like this charm this season. This one is a bit thicker of a chain plus intertwined chain leather. Um, I'm undecided. I don't know. I'm undecided. I, I don't mind it, I think. Uh, this one, I will just say skip just right off the bat, just all chains and just feels too dollar shop quality, even though, I mean, I know it's better quality, but it just doesn't seem like it was worth that kind of money. Um, again, if you're a big leopard animal print person, go for this. This is cool, actually. I really quite like this belt with a big lion head. It gives me a lot of the Versace, like very over the top vibe. This key ring here, oh my goodness, the price. I think the main feature of this whole review or, or this reaction is that the price seems, I mean, we've talked about pricing going up and up and up and up. And is it even anything new? Not so much, but just every time you look at it and you just think back of just maybe even a year ago, even a year ago, things seems way more reasonable. At this rate, they are, um, <laughs> they are really <laughs> unreasonable at this point. And it will just keep getting more unreasonable. So really pick and choose. Right off the bat, I like this jacket. It's a bit oversized. It's very cool. It has these cool buttons. Um, it's like a cool oversized tweed jacket that you can wear as a, Kind of like a light coat. How much is that actually? Let's see. How much is that? Is it the, yeah, the blouson? This one, right? Oh, okay. So much more reasonable than I thought. Okay. <laughs> okay. 6,600. Okay. Okay. I, I thought it would be way more. So I like that one. Um... I think this outfit is very cute, especially if you're on a beach vacation, but uh, would I buy this? Not so much. But see, this whole look on her, right? So like Hawaii, tropical vibe, but again, I wouldn't buy it, but I'm just saying the vibe is really, really cute. Um, this dress, yeah, it's cute, it's cute. It's quite cute. Would I buy it? It's not quite my style, to be honest. But it's cute just, um, let me see how much is the dress, 3,800, okay. It's, it's not bad actually, it's, um, you know, in, in the whole, <laughs> in the whole spectrum of ready to wear, I think, um, I think it's okay. Uh, on this look, I don't like anything from bottom down, from the waist down, but I do like the jacket, I, I, I do like the jacket, I don't, love love it but I, I think that there is a place for this type of jacket to be layered on a, a simple t-shirt and jean look um yeah the jacket is 9350 and oh it has those line head buttons yeah the jacket I quite like I quite like um this look I quite like um I think it's very glam 
Will I ever buy the whole look? Not really. I would maybe buy the jacket. And I already know how much this jacket is, I think. It was very expensive from what I remember. Yeah, 10725 My goodness. I think this one would look great in a black or in a white. And, you know, it has... It has those buttons, it has slip pockets. It's still rather simple for the price, but I would say for the shape and if it's in the right color, I would be quite attracted to this one. Um, again, I, I did like this one. I didn't love it, but I did like it. This one, um, yeah, this one too is just a bit more cropped. I love this jacket. I think it's just too expensive, but I think this is a great spring summer overcoat just love the color of the tweeds too on it and i actually quite like this jacket again the denim um the uh, multi-print denim is very cool very trendy so i'm not sure if if i'll still like it in five years time but i do think that for now just seeing this on the model and even the price actually you know in the grand scheme of things seems quite reasonable so I do like it uh, at the moment. Um, what else? Yeah, this jacket. Yeah, that's what I mean if it was like white. Actually, this version seems a bit longer too, like the, the jacket itself. So um, unless it's the same jacket, I'm not sure. It just looks so crisp and nice when it's white or black. Uh, again, any white color accessory ready to wear can really brighten up the whole look in terms of dresses i quite like this dress something about the color maybe um does it suit my body type not so much but it is cute i do think that it is very very cute i also like this dress somehow it just uh, i just wish that i was on vacation that i could just wear something like this and go about the town wear my little micro bag on top i kind of like this even though it's very rock and roll like this top here it's very rock and roll but i kind of like it i sometimes i like simple things like this this is quite cute oh i like this one i like this one it's quite cute this little jacket um they call it jacket because of the collar detail but it's really a cardigan um piece this one it's a bit long probably for me especially because i'm definitely not as tall as this model but it's cute um yeah this cardigan again it's uh depends it can look a bit sort of um motherly like too too many daisies and too too mature in a way but it depends it depends on the outfit uh, i'll have to try it on um all right, there we have it. Cashmere multi color black. See, I love the buttons on this. I don't think they're functional buttons. And I'm not sure why they're putting the two different uh, cardigans together in this one post. But anyway, you guys know what I mean. Mix top. Oh, okay. Has nothing to do with this one. All right. Um, pants. I think there were just maybe a couple that I wanted to point out. Uh, not interested in these Bermuda shorts and tiny little shorts, summer shorts, not really. But I was really interested in the jeans because, again, this denim print is all over the place, right? In the bags, in the hats, in the jackets. Did they make a top? I don't think they made a top, but they're making a few jean type. So this is sort of like a cigarette style skinny jean. Uh, not super tight, just a cigarette silhouette. Um, I think it's cute, especially if you're very lanky, long legs. It looks great. And the price is really reasonable for Chanel. I mean, let's let's admit it. It's very reasonable, right? Uh, I think it is. And then these are just a bit more, but it's flared. Again, if you have very long legs, if you're really tall, I think they are great buys. I love the denim print on the clothes this season. Um... But yeah, even in black, actually in black, it looks good. See, looks good. Honestly, 
for the price, Chanel, I, I think it's worth it. Something reasonable at last. I hope that you enjoyed my commentary. I felt like I've been filming forever. My shoulder is like hurting me so bad because my chair doesn't have a backrest. But I hope that you enjoyed my commentary. I felt like this one was more casual in a way, but I also went into quite a bit of details. Um, definitely way more interesting ready to wear. Uh, bags, hmm, they're all right, but again, I will just see what they have in in person. Um, if you have a chance, go in person and see. Will I buy any bags this season? I was gonna, but I'm not so sure anymore just because I was interested in a top handle mini, but then if I just get black, which I was planning to, but now I'm having second thoughts because it's not like I don't have enough black bags to use. So um, I might I might skip it actually. I might skip it and see if there's something more interesting in the next few seasons. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you are eyeing anything from this collection. And if you are, which ones are they? If you're new to my channel, I hope that you decide to subscribe. I would love to have you back. In fact, you can even support me further by becoming a channel member where we have more exclusive content. And I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye. Thank you.